Hello here, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to approach a girl on the dance floor so that you know exactly what you need to do in order to get the girl that you want on the dance floor. Now, if you want to know how to meet and approach women consistently and learn the proven techniques of how to do so, then start now by subscribing and clicking that bell so that you don't miss out on anything. But enjoy the video take as much value as you can and let's crack into it now it's important to understand how to approach a girl on the dance floor because obviously if you're going out at night if you're going out to the club you uh, meeting and approaching girls in the nightlife there's a very high chance that the girl that you want to approach and the girl that you like maybe on the dance floor so you want to know exactly what you can to do in that situation so that obviously you can increase your chances of being able to meet her and getting to know her so that you can attract her and then both of you can have a good time and it's also like i don't know it's um it's a it's an excuse a lot of guys don't approach girls on the dance floor because again they make the excuse of oh look i don't approach girls on the dance floor or i mean in it in any situation to be honest i don't approach girls in the mall or i don't approach a girl when she's on the beach or i don't approach a girl if she's walking down the street and look as much as your excuse sounds nice like you just need to ask yourself what if your dream girl okay what if the girl that you really want is in that situation where you're making the excuse that i don't approach in that situation what are you going to do are you just not going to do anything you're just going to watch her again walk up walk out of your life before she even walks into it and it's again what it truly is all these excuses of i don't approach girls here and there is just a lack of understanding of what to do in those situations and a lot of guys don't understand exactly what to do in the dance floor type of situation which is why i'm talking about it because you need to know exactly what to do so that again if you're dream girl is in that situation you know exactly what to do and you'll see in the video where i'm coaching my student and i tell him to go approach um the girls uh, uh on the dance floor and uh again he's he's quickly coming up with those excuses and i had to keep reminding him like bro that could be your next girlfriend and again he goes and approaches the girls he gets the girl's number and it's like imagine he didn't go and approach the girl he would have missed out on an opportunity to meet an awesome girl and she would have missed out on an opportunity to meet an awesome guy so it's truly just about understanding the environment and what exactly you need to do in that environment and the dance floor is a specific environment where there are factors that you need to be aware of that you need to understand and that you also need to beat in order to again meet the girl approach her and get to know her and there are three competing factors that you want to be aware of the three competing factors on the dance floor are number one the loud music number two her dancing on the dance floor and number three her group of friends that she may be with on the dance floor and these are the competing factors and what you need to know and what you need to understand and what you need to do is that you need to be able to identify these factors you need to be able to 
again, compete with these factors and beat these factors because these competing factors are what you are going to be competing with in order to get the girl's attention. The girl's attention is either going to be on you or all these other three factors. And again, in order to approach her successfully on the dance floor, you want her attention on you. And what you need to do and what you need to be able to successfully do is that you need to be more interesting than these factors. You want to be more interesting than these factors so that you can give her a reason to pay attention to you rather than these other three factors. And that's what it's all about. Beat these three competing factors and then you are well on your way to approaching the girl that you want on the dance floor. Now, let's start with the first competing factor, which is the loud music. And the loud music, it's very simple. The only way you can beat this factor, number one, is if you speak louder than the music. You want to be able to speak louder than the music so the girl can hear what you are saying. Because if the girl doesn't hear what you're saying, then she's going to be paying attention to the loud music. She's going to be paying attention to the loud environment and not paying attention to you. So the key thing here is that you want to make sure that she can hear every single word that is coming out of your mouth. And again, just speak louder in order to do that. And it's not like a, a magic trick or a special technique to speak louder. I mean, just speak louder. There's no secret to it. It's like very like self-explanatory, bruh. Just talk louder, bruh. She can't hear you, sp speak louder. She still can't hear you, speak even louder. So you just want to be able to push your 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 voice to a place where she can hear exactly what you are saying. The next competing factor is her actually dancing on the dance floor. And what you need to realize is, again, she's dancing on the dance floor and the music is the source of her emotions. The music is the source of her emotions. She's paying attention to the music. And what you want to happen is, instead of the music being the source of her emotions, you actually want to be the source of her emotions. You want to be the reason where she's paying attention to you and not the music. And this is where the idea of spiking her emotions comes into play. You want to spike her emotions, you want to give her positive emotions and you want to be the source of her emotions. And again, when you spike her emotions, what you want to be doing is you want to spike her emotions more and you want to spike her emotions more often because she's on the dance floor. It's more of a playful vibe. And again, you're competing with the music and you constantly want her attention to be on you and not the music that she's dancing to. So spike her emotions more and often. And the techniques that you can use to make this happen are your playful hooking techniques as well as your breaking rapport techniques. And I've done videos on these techniques. Just click on the eye. Get yourself into those videos and learn more about it. But be the source of her emotions. Give her positive emotions and give her a reason to pay attention to you and not the music. The next competing factor is her group of friends that she could be dancing with on the dance floor. And in order to beat this competing factor, you don't want to make the mistake like every other guy's making where, again, they either just come in like the creep to come and talk to the friend and just exclude the whole group, which is, again, just weird. Why is this random guy coming to flirt with our friend? Or you don't want to be like that um, intense dude that just comes in to just divide and conquer and uh, take the friend away from, take your, your girl away from the group of friends. And again, they're not going to be cool with that. That's where the, they start cock blocking and doing all that shit because again, you're not being cool about the situation. So this is where the idea of group dynamics comes into play is you want to be able to engage the entire group. You want to spike the group's emotions. You want to give them positive emotions take them on a positive experience and show them that you are a cool guy. Show them that you're cool, you got cool qualities, you're an attractive male, and also most importantly, make it evident to the group that you actually like your girl, you like their friend, so they can actually understand what is going on. Because once they understand what is going on and they can see that you're cool and like you like not a creep, then it's gonna be easier for you to then 
get to know the girl that you want and also be able to move the interaction forward with the girl that you want with the approval of their friends. So spike the whole group's emotions. Don't exclude them in the conversation. Get them all in, spike them, make them happy, show them you're cool, and then tell them, make it evident that this is the girl that I like in this group. Now, after you've successfully beat these three competing factors, the loud music, her dancing on the dance floor, her group of friends, you've beat these competing factors, what you then want to do is you actually want to get her off the dance floor. You want to isolate her off the dance floor because, again, you want to get her away from these competing factors. It's, it's a constant competition. It doesn't just stop by, by the fact that you're approaching the girl. Anything can happen. A new song can drop while you're talking to her and then, boom, she's lost the her attention on the conversation with you and now she's dancing to her new favorite song or anything can happen and what you want to do get off the dance floor get her away from these competing factors so that you can actually start to have a genuine conversation with the girl like a genuine conversation and it's hard to have a genuine conversation with a girl if she's on the dance floor because the dance floor is more of a playful vibe again it's loud it's all over the place it's playful and you can't get to know the girl on a genuine level. You can't get to know each other on a genuine level um, on the dance floor. So you wanna move her away from the dance floor, isolate her, get her away from the dance floor. And again, you can move her to another table, move her to a chair, just get her off the dance floor so that you can actually now have the, the, the opportunity to both get to know each other on a genuine level, have a genuine conversation and um, move the interaction forward in a more smooth and uncomplicated way and it's much easier to do that if she's off the dance floor so beat these three competing factors and then get her off the dance floor now i actually want you to comment below which one of these three competing factors are you struggling with right now comment it below and what I suggest for you to do is, again, bring awareness to this and make a commitment to yourself that in the next week or the next however uh, many weeks or whatever, that you uh, make the commitment that when you go out, I'm going to approach the girl that I want on the dance floor and I'm going to focus on this one specific thing so that you can make your approaching on the dance floor much more better. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to take a screenshot and tag me on Instagram and tell me what you learned from this. And this is pretty much it. How to approach a girl on the dance floor, beat these three competing factors, get the girl that you want, and it is what it is. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.